Hello everybody, welcome to another video. As you can see, sat in the garden today, and as you'll have seen from the description of the video, uh, this is a bit of a, just a very short gear video today. Video I've been uh, promised to make a, a few months ago, which I've never got round to. Finally got round to it, so here we are. Just want to look at my roving bags that I get asked quite a lot about. Now, if you a viewer of the videos, you'll have seen this in many, many videos. This is an 18 litre Sabre bucket bag been using this for absolutely years cracking bag however recently i've decided on a change for a couple of reasons firstly saber have discontinued this so there's going to be no more coming not sure exactly why i have contacted them and and just to confirm they discontinued them and they have they've told me they discontinued i can only presume because they're not selling many but i think they're fantastic so there's going to be no more in the pipeline now the other reason the only downside i had with this bag that i found was when it got wet. Now, as you know, when I do my roving, I stick a coat on, no umbrellas or anything, all my gear gets soaking wet. And this is absolute pig to dry out, especially in the winter. It's very, very thick material, and it takes days and days, even in the house next to the radio, it takes days, days to dry it properly when it gets wet. So knowing that I wasn't going to be able to get any more of these, I started looking for an alternative. And I've decided on this fella, which we'll come to in a minute, now, just to quickly touch on why I went for this one is that it's very similar, although it looks completely different, it's similar, well, I can use it in a similar way to this one. As you know, if you've seen the videos, this takes a big bucket in there, which I keep all my bits and pieces in. And in the top, I have a washing up bowl, which I mix up my dry ground bait in. Now, I can do a very, very similar thing with this one. This, I should mention as well, it's, it, I went for this one because it's very similar capacity to this. It's around about 18, 19 litres. So I can fit all the same stuff in as I did in this one. So, as you can see, it's a Savage Gear bag. It's one of these EVA bags that are completely waterproof, and that's why I went for it primarily. There's a few of these on the market now. They seem to be becoming quite fashionable, these waterproof bags, and for good reason, you know, it keeps all your kit dry, and there's no drying out the bag either. That's one of the great things about it, you don't have to dry the bag out. Now, I won't run you through all the gear in here because obviously I've done that in previous videos. I'll link you to a video up there where I ran through the gear, but as you can see, get all my bits and pieces in there, no problem at all. Little tackle box, bits and pieces box, hook links. It's even got a little mesh pocket in the top here, as you can see, keep scales in, um, licenses, catapult, bits and pieces like that. And as I took out in the beginning, as you can see, you probably saw then, got bought a little set of these NGT EVA boxes. They come in three different sizes. And I've got a set, one of each size, um, because I can keep my bits and pieces in there, <laughs> doubly dry if you like. But to be honest, I've really bought it for this one, because this one, as you can see, fits perfectly in the top of there and does exactly the same job as this bucket. Being waterproof, I can mix my ground bait in there, Keep it in the top, nice and easy to get to, right at the top of the bag there. Lid over, job done. Another great advantage of this is it's lighter. It's lighter than this, certainly when it's wet. <laughs> it's a lot lighter than this as well, so much easier to carry around. So yeah, that is the reason why I've swapped bags. You'll be seeing this bag in future videos. I've not thrown this away. You've been seeing the videos I've been making at Mana um, on the linear complex. I've been using this actually as my spod bucket. Of course I can chuck it in my bivvy when I'm out there and it doesn't get all soaking wet. <laughs> a bit of an update video just to show you the gear I'm using. I do get asked quite a lot often about this bag and a few people have noticed that I've changed. Eagle Eye viewers have noticed that I've changed this bag and I just wanted to run you through the reasons why. So that's it because it's waterproof and because they don't make these anymore and so that's why I've changed. Now, a couple of weeks to the river season. Can't wait myself. I'm sure a lot of you are the same. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Hope that gives you a little bit of information and uh, will answer a few questions perhaps that you've had about my gear. Many thanks to the channel patrons and I'll see you all again very soon.